Oh, Jesus. So a week ago, we were up in Arcata, and uh, I went out on Friday morning to have breakfast uh, in a little, one of the little cafes near the uh, central plaza there, and then I went walking through the plaza, and as I'm walking through the plaza, um, I see the cop pull up, and he starts to kind of wake up all the homeless people that are kind of sleeping there, and so I guess it was time to wake up. It's about 10 in the morning or something, and he was just doing his daily wake-up call. And uh, so as I'm walking through, I'm just kind of checking this out, and I wanted to see who the statue was in the middle of the thing. And, and uh, this guy comes just walking through, and he's just like cussing up a storm, and just going, blah, 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 blah. He would let her just sit there and smoke that stuff, and she hadn't said anything. And, and he's just all agitated and all whacked up, and just like, okay, whatever. And then we went off and we did our meetings. And um, at the end of the afternoon session, there's about 35 of us walking through the plaza there in uh, Arcata. And we were just singing whatever, I can't even remember how it goes, the, the dead thing. Um, we'll do it at the end. Okay, we'll do it at the end, okay. But we're just, there's 35, it's just it's like an Irish drunken slosh fest. Well, that's where we're at, we're at a slosh fest. And um, we're just like walking through downtown, just singing at the top of our lungs, just this big old long thing. And we have like, everybody's just looking at us going, what are you guys on? And so we just told them we're on the Holy Ghost. And we took over this, we went to this one little pizza restaurant. Uh, we just took it over, we were singing in there, we were sloshing, we were just going nuts. People were coming to the door and they're going, what is going on in here? This is crazy, this is nuts stuff. And this is like, we just went wild in the city, right in the downtown area. So for the evening meeting, uh, we got back over there and when we showed up over at the evening meeting, we got there a little bit late, the band, those guys, were all dressed up kind of like in Dr. Seuss outfits, you know, they had the funny colored hats and the ties and the wild colors and everything else. We're like Dr. Seuss, and like the whole front of the auditorium had those big 30-inch like blue bouncy balls. Oh, they're sit-up balls. I never got a sit-up in my life. I wouldn't know. Terrible. I know, they're bad for you, right? The ball is terrible, not you. Oh, the ball's terrible. I don't like the ball. So there's like five or six of these big sit-up balls just being kicked up and bounced and and, and played with soccer and done everything. And, and, and so the whole room's just nuts. People were like on the floor, just passed out. People were like dancing, and, uh, and the band's just playing. So, so out of the blue, um, in come the street people, which is really cool, which is really cool. Uh, some of the people from Bethel had stayed over and they stayed in the park and they ended up bringing, inviting a lot of the street people to come in. So one of the guys that comes in, it's the same guy that I saw in the park that morning that was like, uh, just totally agitated and all that. I go, oh, that'd be interesting. But at least I had a conversation with him in the morning. I knew that we were, that we were going to have a hot one on our hands. <laughs> and, uh, and this guy, the first thing he does, he's in the back. He grabs one of Ben's books, brings it up to the front, sits down here, and starts reading the Happy Gospel. Oh, go, well, that's pretty cool. And then about five minutes later, I see him in the back, sitting there, and he's flipping through one of John's books. And uh, the, 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 what's it called? The, Loving God, ecstasy of loving God. I knew there was something about that, and uh, and I go, wow, that's pretty cool. And I also noticed that the money bag sitting right next to him. So I said, John, I'm going to get your money bag for you, you know, because you know that was like the whole proceeds from their sales and all that stuff. And so I go back there and I start talking to the guy, and his name is Matthew. And uh, I go, Matthew, how are you, dude? I'm Peter. This and that. And uh, he goes, Oh, you won't believe this, man, but I like wore the most satanic T-shirt I could possibly think of today. <laughs> Look at the saying on the back, you know, some saying, I don't know, you know what the saying was? We spit on those who worship or something crazy. We spit on those who worship, whatever it was. The guy goes, this is my most satanic t-shirt. They won't let me into any place for this one. I go, oh, well, you're welcome here. <laughs> and then the guy goes, check this out. I brought my chakra cards, which are like, they must be like tarot cards, but in, in Hindi or something. I don't know, chakras, isn't that like one of those Hindi deals? <laughs> whatever. And the guy goes, I brought my chakra cards. I go, those are awesome, dude. And so, so whatever. And uh, we're just going, okay. I said, and I'm thinking to myself, I said, this guy doesn't have a clue what he just walked into. He does not know what he has just stumbled into. This is a big mistake on his part or on the demon's parts that this guy's loaded with. And uh, next thing you know, we look around and he's doing handstands up on the stage up here. And then I look, what's that? Oh, ripped his shirt off. He's doing handstands up on the stage. Next thing you know, he's running to the back room. He's literally climbing the walls. He's going all over the place. I mean, he'd never seen anything like this. You know, I mean, we were crazier than him. We had Dr. Seuss hats on. We were bouncing big old bouncy balls. We were like screaming and rolling on the floor. It was just like nuts. And uh, and then uh, then like people were up on the you know people were just on the floor. So he'd get up here and he got his little chakra cards out and he was tossing them. You know, 
tossing a shit, and then he was like laying out a whole thing of them here and going, mm, picking one out and throwing it on people and stuff like that. Um, where's Bob? Are you still here? Bob, Bob's out here, like cast out the middle of the floor, and he gets down there and he gets this little bag, like a little bag pouch kind of a thing, but it's all full of stuff. And here's Bob just like hey, in the middle of the floor, and he gets out like little charms and crystals and starts floating. And every time one hit Bob, you just start laughing. Like, I mean, I don't know if you knew what was going on, Bob, but you were like out of it. But but these things kept hitting you, like you kept laughing, you know, because there's no power. There's no absolutely no power because these these are only so-called gods. They don't even exist. And here's this guy. Here's this guy. Here's this guy thinking that he has some kind of spiritual power and is going to lay it on. After he put his little jewels on, he starts dumping out his 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 herbs and and his little bag full of trinkets and this and that. And we're just going, this is nuts. And then he's back up here doing handstands. And then he's running across the stage over here doing and this uh, lighting incense and this and that. And he's just trying to push the buttons. He's just trying to get us to kick him out. I mean, that's you know, what else are you going to do? You come in there. So you can say, I one more excuse to go, I hate church, they just don't love me. So, but we didn't. We did, we just watched him. Because we knew, we knew that we serve the living king yes. of kings. And all authority is given unto Jesus. And there isn't any more authority than all the authority that he has. And he has given that to us and he has made us his ambassadors. And we are bearers and carriers of that authority. So we're watching this guy. And he's just getting, just pushed by us. And John and Dave are sitting about where Lonnie and, and you guys are sitting right there. And like, they're just like, oh, well, yeah, there's a guy out there. <laughs> they're like, what? They're like, they can hardly move. You know, so I said to Rod, well, Rod, you guys watch that guy. If he gets really out of control, go ahead and bounce him. But, but in the meantime, I'm going around, there's a lot of like first year Bethel students there. And I'm just going, it's okay. This is okay. This guy doesn't know what he walked into. Don't worry about how. A guy throwing tarot cards is going to affect your church. It's how our church is going to affect the guy throwing tarot right. cards. Yeah. And that's what happened. Yeah. So finally, we just got tired of his antics. We, we gave him enough time. And so we sent Grant with about eight Bethel students up there just to give him a big love hug. Oh, yeah. So here they are up on stage, and eight guys just surround him and just wrap him up. And just, just hugged him in love. And... Then he went off like over to that side of the thing. They went over there. One of the guys washed his feet. Um, I don't. Christina Robinson was here last week. I don't know if you remember Christina. She just starts. She says, "I feel like I'm supposed to massage the guy's neck." And she starts massaging the guy, and this guy just lays out. By the end of the time that he left, or by the end of the time of the service over, this guy was like saved, delivered in his right mind, walking out of there, giving glory. telling the people, I said, you know what, I don't know what the cops are going to do tomorrow when they see him in the park, and they go, what's the matter with you? You're not belligerent, you're not acting weird, you're not whacked out, you're just like, what's changed? I mean, God grabbed a hold of this guy and did that, and that's normal, that's what our normal church life yes. ought to be. Yes. We, we, we are God's representatives, not people out there who are bringing their demons, to no, we are God's ambassadors. We are the ones that he has sent forth. We are the ones that he has given his authority and his power to. We are the ones where people need to be coming here and we need to be going, we don't care what you do because greater is he that is within us, within, in us than he who is in the world. Yeah. Oh. So that's Slosh Fest. I mean, Slosh Fest is just crazy. How many people, there's a lot of people here who are at Slosh Fest. Let's just uh, look in the back. There's all people. Santa Rosa, my wife, I mean, that's a lot of people, and we really had a blast. We really had a good time, and um, so we want to encourage you just travel with the ministry when you can. Um, it's always a party. It's always a good time, and there's always some action. So. Uh, <laughs>